Good news, your Broncos tickets today and sold them at a big discount. You certainly were not alone. Our Melissa Garcia is live at Mile High Stadium where she caught up with fans getting their hands on some tickets for a very good price. But Melissa, thousands of seats were empty. Yeah, and it turns out it was a really good day, clearly, to buy those tickets for cheap. About 70,000 fans passed through the turnstiles here today at Mile High Stadium, which left more than 5,000 tickets unused. As fans trickle in under the I-25 bridge towards Mile High Stadium, it's clear the Broncos' eight-game losing streak has affected ticket demand and prices. Woohoo! Woohoo! <laughs> we got a deal! Denver residents and roommates Olivia Schmidt and Kim Kaiser got a deal, paying $45 each for seats in Section 521. Well, that's why we came today, because we figured we'd get a better deal, because they're doing so badly. <laughs> Even at the box office, tickets cost well below the typical price ranging from $63 in the nosebleeds up to $189 down low in the prime rows. We paid $88 a seat. For two tickets, we paid $188. Tyrone and Terry Davis came to catch the plays, even though their loyalty lies with other teams. We're just excited that we, we'd be able to see a game. Sellers on the street had a hard time just getting them off their hands in a stadium where thousands of seats stayed unfilled. One, two, three. Broncos players still set out for a victory. The orange beanie on the right. Forever fans like Cole Allen from Fort Collins say regardless of this season's performance, they'll stand behind the Broncos till death do us part. Go Broncos. I look at the Broncos like a marriage. You, you come through thick and thin no matter what. You can't win them all, so... And it's fine with me. <laughs> At a game that win or lose, these fans knew they'd enjoy. And Broncos officials say about 97% of the stadium sells out through season ticket holders every season. Remaining tickets, which go on sale in July, typically sell out in less than an hour. We're live in Denver. Melissa Garcia covering Colorado First. Good to see the fans are there. Thanks, Melissa.